Dr. Taylor back with Archer Review and today's video is covering an IV dressing change. So as you can see, our client Miss Caffrey here, dressing is looking pretty ugly. It's all uh, wrinkled up here. We've got some blood on it. Definitely time for a dressing change. As always, before you come into the room, we're going to verify our client's order. We're going to verify their identity with two different ID checks. So Miss Caffrey, I know you, I know you at this point, but can you tell me your name and birthday so I can check your identity? Yeah, Annie Caffrey, January 1st, 1998. Perfect. So now let's gather up all of our supplies. This one is pretty straightforward. You've already got the IV in, so you basically just need the new dressing and some alcohol swabs because we want to really clean that site up to make sure we are preventing any sort of infection in this area. From there, let's go ahead and do hand hygiene and don clean gloves. I've already done that, so let's get to the good stuff. Step one, removing the old dressing. Now, this Tegonarm is looking pretty gnarly. I think it's gonna peel right up. If you've got one really stuck on, there are products in many facilities that help remove that adhesive. So make sure to look for those if they're needed for your client. Here, we're just gonna go ahead and peel back this tape. We'll dispose of these in the trash. Pull this back. And the important thing is to make sure as you pull the Tegaderm back, you're holding this IV. I usually go right at the hub and keep it in place. We don't want it wiggling at all, okay? So after you've got that, we're gonna keep it there and go ahead and clean the site. We've got our alcohol swab right here at the ready. Let's open that up. And let's go ahead and clean around the area. Get all of that residue off. Again, just keeping a hand on that IV site so it doesn't wiggle anywhere. I like to clean under the hub. And just like when we inserted, we need to let that dry so it kills off all the bacteria. And now we don't wanna to touch that area again and contaminate it with our dirty hands. As soon as it's dry, Grab your new IV dressing, pull the back off, and go ahead and lay it right on that IV catheter. We're gonna press down at the edges to make sure we get a good seal and peel off those margins. That looks so much better. Last but not least, we know we don't want this extension tubing laying down there. So let's go ahead and pull off that extra piece of tape that should come on all your IV dressings. Pull the extension tubing up into a J and place that right there. We'll then go ahead and label date the time that this dressing was changed so we know when it needs to be changed again. Always follow your facility protocols regarding the frequency of dressing changes, but know that if they're soiled, you can make the nursing call to just go ahead and change that. All right, let's go ahead and dispose of our used gloves, our dirty supplies. Let's do more hand hygiene. Feeling okay, Miss Caffrey? Feeling great. All right, we'll go ahead and lower the bed to the lowest position, raise the side rails, make sure the coal light is within reach, and document the entire procedure. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Archer nurses, Dr. Caffrey with Archer Review again. I hope you enjoyed that clinical skill video. Dr. Taylor and I had so much fun filming those for you. In fact, we filmed over 200 clinical skill videos for you so that as you guys enter clinical practice, you feel as prepared as possible. You can sign up for that complete clinical skills course using this QR code here or going to archerreview.com. There you can also sign up for the 19 other comprehensive nursing courses that we've created for you like behavioral health, pediatrics, fundamental health assessment. Our goal here is to make nursing school as simple as possible so that you guys feel prepared to enter your new career as a nurse. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss an Archer Review video. Good luck, future nurses.